And so, wow. and so I hope that I have disturbed not only your peace this afternoon, but <laughs> you, you always disturb my peace. peace. Yeah. Lost. Hey, look. I mean, it's a boundary you want to push. Is your face? Go for it. Go for it. If that's the boundary you want to push, if you want to see how far you can stretch your face before it pops, go for it. We all know Candace Owens can be pretty brutal in her attacks against celebrities, but it seems like she might have turned up the heat, particularly for Madonna as she just labeled her a clown. However, the Grammy-winning singer doesn't seem like she'll be going down without a fight and she's just fired her own shots back at the show host. Now the high question is which of them has taken things overboard with their recent more than personal attacks. Point. They're not against the aging, they're against you attempting to interrupt the aging attempting to interrupt the inevitable and then looking terrifying. What is that guy's name? Pennywise? Yeah, she's starting to look like Pennywise. If you know, you could easily argue that Madonna has risen to become one of the most famous people in the world. But even that has not stopped Candace Owens from going after her and even going hard while at it. And in the latest wave of her attacks against the singer, Owens compared her to Pennywise, the antagonist clown of the movie. It must have stunned, don't you think? Well, inasmuch as a lot of people would want to instantly attack Owens for such a wild comparison, it actually wasn't just pulled from thin air. Her comments came from Madonna's most recent look, which basically stole the entire shine from the 2023 Grammy Awards ceremony. Per the reports, Madonna, like her way back namesake, means a lot of different things to different people. You don't get to be an icon without being able to contain multitudes. So when she appeared at the Grammys with a face that bore little recognition to her original visage, or any 60-plus year old woman's visage, or to many, any normal visage at all. People had opinions, and Owens was merely just one of many, and thanks to the glories of social media, we got to hear just about all of them. One user wrote, Why fill your face with botox like Madonna when you can age with grace and beauty like Audrey? Apparently, the star was there to mark a moment in popular music history to introduce the performance of Sam Smith and Kim Petras, the first transgender singer to win a Grammy. She was reliably Madonna about it, meaning that she first talked about herself, then used words like scandalous and unholy, and managed to somehow paint Smith, an artist who has graced the cover of such mainstream publications as Rolling Stone, Billboard, and GQ, as someone who has risen above the critics. Critics are to Madonna as football is to Tom Brady, the thing which she can neither leave without nor really engage with much enthusiasm anymore. Over the years, the singer has made it a point to challenge the regular conventions and norms as she made sure to try out a horde of different identities, much longer than most of us could withstand. And now she has run up against the immovable force that many women her age are negotiating, which is growing old. But from what we just saw of Madonna, it doesn't look like she will be going down without a fight. A fight that has involved a plethora of doctors working on her face, which is why Candace Owens, like many other people on the internet, has been firing shots at her nonstop. Speaking of doctors, a lot of them were actually taken aback by the singer's new looks, just like Owens and the rest of the world. While the exact procedures Madonna may have undergone are unknown, it's clear that she has undergone significant physical transformations over the years. Did you see Madonna at the Grammys last night? She's almost unrecognizable. Madonna hasn't been shy in the past of having things done. My best bet is she's had a combination of surgery, including facelift, neck lift. However, for some other people on social media, the blame shouldn't be on Madonna because, just like I just mentioned with societal pressure, some fans also recognize this reality. One of such people wrote, I don't hate Madonna for doing this to herself. I'd hate that we live in a society where she thinks she has to do this to herself. Nonetheless, this has not stopped the series of attacks that have been flooding the singer's way since her appearance at the award show. In fact, besides the basic analysis social media users were doing on her face, some professionals have also stepped into that conversation. Specifically, the backlash on her has led experts in the body reconstruction fields to speak out about what changes the star may or may not have made to her face. But the reason this isn't a plus for Madonna is that their analysis also discusses whether or not they think she might have gone overboard this time. And newsflash, they had their own jabs too. Dr. Asen Ali, CEO of Beverly Hills Concierge Doctor and Urgent Care, also said, When I first saw the post, like many others, I too was very surprised by how Madonna looked. Before listing off about nine procedures he believes the Grammy winner has done. Among them, the board-certified doctor believes that Madonna has actually gone under the knife to achieve her new aesthetic. She for sure had a facelift, Dr. Ali claims. You can see her skin is pulled back and tightened, with no loose skin and no wrinkles. A facelift also alters the shape of your eyes, which you can see in her image, her eyes seem pulled back. He also notes that he thinks the like a virgin singer has had rhinoplasty, which Cassier, who is one of Hollywood's go-to rhinoplasty doctors, agrees with, noting, the nose looks too narrow with a pointy tip. 
Polly, the Beverly Hills concierge doctor who boasts of clients such as Kim Kardashian, Kylie Jenner, Gwen Stefani, and Ariana Grande, says it appears as if Madonna has also gotten Botox, a toxin used to reduce wrinkles in several different areas of her face. Dr. Ali believes that Madonna's cheekbones are completely different from when she was younger and appear much more prominent, which he thinks are a result of fillers. Tassier adds that Madonna's cheeks appear too high, claiming it is evident she had done work to them because of their plump appearance. And just like with the professionals, Ellen seems to also think Madonna might have gone too far with this one, hence the comparison to a clown. However, Madonna wasn't just planning to let things slide just like that, oh no. The Material Girl's response to the online commentary at, posted alongside screw images of her partying with celebrities, suggests that she looks exactly the way she wants to. Instead of focusing on what I said in my speech which was about giving thanks for the fearlessness of artists like Sam and Kim, many people chose to only talk about close-up photos of me taken with a long lens camera by a press photographer that would distort anyone's face. She wrote, I look forward to many more years of subversive behavior pushing boundaries, standing up to the patriarchy and most of all enjoying my life. Looks like the queen of pop wasn't going to let Owens' comments slide for the second time. Yep, that's right, this isn't the first time Owens has publicly attacked her. A while back, Owens called the singer out after she touched on a pretty wild side of reality involving underage people in her book. Featuring photographs by Stephen Meisel and edited by the late writer Glenn O'Brien, the book, which sold 150,000 copies on its first day of release in the U.S., has Madonna assuming the role of a fictional character named Dita. Speaking on her eponymous podcast on Wednesday, Owens called Madonna a deeply disturbing individual before reading an excerpt that she said was taken from Sex. Titled Sex, and it was a coffee table book with photography by Stephen Meisel, edited by Glenn O'Brien, and the book did very well. It was a huge success. It sold over 150,000 copies in its first day in the United States. The conservative commentator said the writing is a work of fiction, so Madonna is not saying that she did these things. In fact, she's playing a character in this book. She's created a young character. Owens then went on to read an excerpt of the character saying that relations with the young can be fun if you're in the mood. The character, Owens continued, also told of her experience with a teenage boy who hardly had any pubic hair. According to Owens, the character relates how her relationship with the boy went from his visits to her apartment and watching her put on makeup as she got ready to go out to their having an explicit relationship. After reading the excerpt, Owens said that Madonna should have been banished from society for the now scarcely available book. Upon publishing this, she should have just been banished, old school banished. Just send her out to an island onto herself, because this is, she's touching upon pedophilia. I don't know what age it is that boys hardly have any pubic hair, but I know it's not old enough for a woman to be talking about having relations with them. Well, while Owen seems to have been on the attack against Madonna, many people on social media just felt sorry for the singer, and they haven't been shy about their views. One of such users wrote, I legit feel sad that people feel they need to do this. I also feel sad for their loved ones, like my heart would break if my mom changed her face so much that she didn't look like my mom anymore. Ouch, who knows, maybe this is what triggers her to take the fight to Owens, but as with all other feuds in the industry, only time will tell where things end up. That's it for this video, goodbye.